someone with a, a big zest for life and who will, even when she doesn't feel great, push herself that bit further. Strong, strong, strong. A very, very strong lady. Just Jesse and Bob. You couldn't see one without the other. How would you describe your parents' relationship? Very close, very loving, I would say. Certainly, you know, both parents were affect affectionate and emotional. I think my dad, for his generation, he was quite unusual in that respect. Do you have a favourite memory together? There's that many. Obviously, the day we got married. Once got to the altar and you get married, put the ring on, he can't get my ring on. And he's, um, he's grumbling. Your finger's swollen. <laughs> I said, no, it's you that's struggling. Yeah, the next thing was that when we were our ruby wedding and we retook our vows and we were saying the vows and he filled up and he actually cried. And tears was coming down his face. I remember grabbing his hand. This was on our golden wedding in the back garden. Bob and I cutting the cake, raising money for the Alzheimer's research with all my friends and neighbours, more charities. It was a lovely day in the garden and people were very, very generous. When did you start noticing that Grandad wasn't himself? When he got us nearly killed. We was going to Stockport, and if you go up the main road at the top, there's a roundabout. And instead of keeping left, he went right. Thank goodness there was nothing on that roundabout. I said, you realise what you've done? He said, no. He said, you made me go in there. So I said, yeah. So I said, you went the wrong way round the roundabout. So I said, no, you're not, you're not doing it again. I said, try and make a cup of tea. I was stood there and somebody came to the door and when I went back, he'd poured the boiling water in a tin of sugar. And I used to shout at him. Oh, my hands up, I used to shout at him. And then I'd apologise and he'd just go. How can you hurt a man like that? He just can't. I asked him to do anything and he used to just sit and look at me and smile. Especially when we got up in the morning, I used to have to take him in the bathroom and I had to shower him. And he used to just smile at me. And then he'd pucker his lips and he'd go. Oh, with mouth, I love you. Always, every day. That was hard work. Um, none of the family knew all this. I used to just get on with it. Why did you decide to do the fundraisers? Oh, well, I just want, at the end of this, I want people to go research, try and get a cure for this, because you lose that person twice. You lose them with the memory, and then you lose them when they pass away. And it's not the person I married that had that dementia. Everybody mentioned the same. Oh, we can see Bob now. 
working in the garden. We can see Bobby always had a paintbrush in his hand or he had a cloth in his hand. Things have got neglected since he's gone.